Good day, everyone. This is Mr. Barton, and I am going to create a screencast for you. I'm doing this from my basement. You can see uh, you can see my drill press in the background, and this is my little man cave getting away from things today. But uh, I want to show you some fun things, I hope. First off, we're going to go to Google Chrome. So I'll open it up. And I will go immediately to the school library webpage. And I've added a new link here. Uh, there's a Google icon, and it says All Things Google. This is something new I've added. So give that a click. And on this page, you will see All Things Google, everything we've been studying in our technology classes. Now, way at the bottom, I'm using two fingers to scroll down is Google Earth. And this is one of my favorite um, activities in Google. I love geography and seeing things and studying the world. Every year, Mrs. Barton and I go on a nice trip. And we always like to uh, visit Google Earth before we go, just to scope out some of the sites. So here I am in, uh, in Google Earth, and I've got to uh, launch it. There are two, two spots I can launch in the upper right or the lower left. Either one will take me there. Now I want you to notice that I'm getting two tabs coming up. This always takes a little bit longer than I wish, but it's a good time to talk about what you're going to see. Um, you guys are always after me when I take you to Google Earth. I want to show you like fun places like the uh, Taj Mahal or the Great Wall of China or the Eiffel Tower. But inevitably, you guys always want to go to the uh, Gorham. You want to see your own house. You want to see Gorham. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, here I am in Google Earth, and if I want, I can move this around, or I thought I could, but I'm going to skip. We'll skip, and I am going to go focus on this menu over here. The first focus is on searching, so I'll click here, and I'm going to do a search for 12 Roby. Street. Now notice what I'm coming up with. There's a 12 Roby Street in Buffalo, New York, Bath, New York, Halifax, Canada, Amherst, Nova Scotia, Canada. But we want to go to Gorham right here, Gorham, Maine. So this is where we'll go. Google Maps. This is a uh, this is a link right in here. Now, do you recognize where we are? We're at 12 Roby Street in Gorham, Maine. This is the village school. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I can do that by clicking down here and doing the plus. Clicking in. You can see the buses come in here. They go around. This is where they drop you off. This is where you enter the center of the building. Here's Mr. Speed's gym, the playground, playground equipment. There's a couple ball fields. And one thing I've really never noticed before, I'm holding down now. You can see the, uh, the fist. One thing I've never noticed is that the school is really a big rectangle. I've never thought of it as being that, but it is. It's a big rectangle with two ball fields back here. And then this is the New Portland Road. There is a, a short street here. You go in, there's a parking lot, and here are some baseball fields. And you can see that this picture was probably taken, was it taken in the summertime? We see green trees. We're not seeing snow on the ground. So these are taken by satellites that are constantly hovering over the Earth, taking photographs, telecommunications. 
Over here, what do we see? We see the Hannaford. I can zoom out. I can see downtown Gorham. I'm going to go up to the university. Here's their ball field. You can see it's in better shape than the one at the village school. And now this is something I've been wanting to see. These two towers, a lot of people don't know they're there, but these are two dormitories. And I'm going to zoom in right here. And I'm going to see if I can get a street view of he. This is called the Peg Man. I can grab him. You can see the blue. So I'm going to put him right here at this intersection and see what we're seeing at the University of Southern Maine. Okay, here I am. Let's we'll see if I can go around. I'm going to click on this directional, see if that helps me. Okay, there they are. There are the two towers, the dormitories, parking lot, and I believe there's a baseball field. Let's click here and see what this does for us. This helps us move around. And if we want to get out of this, let's go back to, let's see what 2D does down here. We're in 2D. Let's go the negative. Let's see if we can get out of this. Now we're going out. There's the field house. Let's go back. To the village school. Here it is right here. It says 12 Roby. There's a pin. And I want to show you another neat little feature. I'm going to grab it, bring it around, zoom in a little bit. Now I'm using two fingers on my trackpad to see if I can zoom in. This is a nice feature that I like right here. I'm going to measure the distance. And I'm going to measure, let's say that we wanted to go on a run. And we ran out the front door of the school. So I'm going to tab here. I'm going out to where the buses take us. And I'm going to click. And I'm going to click. And I'm going down the road. Now I'm going all the way out to South Street. And I'm going to turn. And I am going to go down to here. I'm going to go up to Roby Park. I believe this is the road to the high school. The rec center is up here, the town offices. I'm going to go over to here, back to South Street, back down, back to the school, back to here, back to here, and home again. Now, how far have we gone? We have gone 1,933 meters. But this doesn't help me because here in the United States, we do not usually use meters. So I want to change that to miles. If we ran out the door and we went down, we would have gone for a 1.2 mile run. And the area that I just covered is 54,000 meters, square meters. And if I wanted to do acres, it's 13.42 acres. So that's something I'd like to see you do. Maybe today you could go to your house. Maybe you could par uh, do a run, how far it is from your house down your street or road to your neighbor's house. And maybe you could go on a run. Now I'm going to go over to some other things here. Let's try this. It looks like a ship's uh, wheel. I'll click on it. And where is it taking us? Ah, oh, they're showing us some different things that we might want to go visit. Maybe we want to learn something about wolves, historical maps. Carmen San Diego, this is something I want to do with you later on. Tsunamis in history. Fun things in here that you might want to look at. Maybe you want to take a quiz. Children's literature sites. 
that might be a fun one. 3D imagery. So there are some good things in here. Let's go back to here. This is the Voyager. I'm going to click the back arrow. So we've looked at the search. We've looked here. Let's see what this one does. I'm feeling lucky. This is always a fun one. It's like, uh, and what are they giving you for an icon? They're giving you a dice. They're throwing the dice. And where are they taking you? You are going to Johnson Reef. Johnson South Reef, also known as Chingua Reef in China. And here it is. They're taking it to you. You're going there. Let's try, let's try somewhere else. They're taking you to an island in the Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to try it again. They're taking you to a park in the city of London. And London's always one of the great cities of the world. Can you see some tennis courts over here? That's not a baseball field, I'm guessing. Look how the people live. Look at the houses. These are row houses. You can see with the trampling of the grass, a lot of people have been using this. Look how this, this uh, land has been mowed. Let's circle out. I'm using two fingers to squeeze in. Let's go down. I'm going to guess that this is the River Thames in England. Let's go to Kensington Palace. I believe this is where the Queen lives. Is the royal residence set up in? Yes, this is where the king and the queen live. So let's go to here. Hyde Park. These are all famous. Buckingham Palace. Museums you could go to. Let's see if we can go to this museum. Now here we can, let's, let's click. We're going to fly to this. Sometimes you can actually go right inside of a museum to see what's in there. This is the Victorian Albert Museum. Let's see if the peg man will let us in. I'm going to go right here, right to the center, see if we can get inside of the building. No, nope, we're not inside. We're on the outside of it. Sometimes, try it one more time. Let's see if we can get in. Some of the buildings like the Smithsonian, I know you can get into. Those are always fun to go to. All right. So we've done the dice. We could do a project. If we wanted to create a project, we could do that. We could start pinning places we've gone to, showing them off. There's a tutorial right here that we could watch that would help us with how to do this and let's try this one all kinds of fun things you can do in here so my recommendation for you today is this i would like to see you go to the school go to your home address take a look at gorham but also explore Google Earth. Ton of fun things in here that you can see. I've always uh, wanted to go. I know that there's a uh, the Shaw's, Shaw Brothers. I've always wanted to see what they're doing. I know they have a gravel pit behind. Look at all this open land in Gorham. Who does this belong to? There's some history here. Here's the high school. Look at the, look, find out where you live. Explore your neighborhood. Expl go into Portland. Try going beyond Gorham. But most of all, have fun. So this is Mr. Barton down in the uh, down in his basement, giving you a little lesson on Google Earth. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Bye bye now.